and there we are. This is the first video uh, in the first hour of the first day of the newest year. And this is the book that I'm going to tell you about today. The, f the f kind of first day of Happy New, of, you know, New Year. Carry on, Mr. Bowditch by Jean Lee Lotham. And, and this book is a biography. And you might say, oh, come on, a biography on the first day of the newest year? Just seriously? Yeah, 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 I know. But this book is no ordinary biography. This is more like a story. A story of a person named Nat Bowditch. Nat Bowditch was always interested in arithmetic. He hated things that had two answers. He lo he loved things he loved arithmetic just for that. They had only one answer. Two plus two equals four. Never ever change. And and not and and every pe every person who saw his arithmetic skills were very very astonished. Master Watson, their school teacher, at first thought that he was lying, and he he someone helped him solve the really hard math questions. But oh no no no, he did it with his own skill, and uh, Mr. W and uh, and Master Watson is exclaimed, "If you knew Latin, you'll be in Harvard tomorrow." And, and you know, as you know, Harvard is the best college ever invented. And so, to be exact, he was thrilled. Nat Bogic was thrilled, thrilled. He was thinking about Harvard, being a Harvard man, yes! But then, Pop father got him indentured, which meant he had to work at, um, at a shop for a really long time, nine years. And he could not even leave the building without the owner's permission. Which is rather ending, deafening, very rather evil, personally. And yeah, he had to stay there. And he couldn't go to Harvard. Top line. And yeah, and Nathaniel Bowditch actually, actually helped him while doing this job. Every spare minute was spent on books about math and astronomy, and he became a kind of amateur astronomer himself soon enough, and made his own almanac when at his young age. As he grew, he went on his first sea voyage with, with Prince, Captain Prince, and Captain Prince saw that a lot of tricks Mr. Bowditch had, for example, number one, he could speak several languages, and and all the time he was worrying for a translator, but he had one right next to him, and it is because the translator Nat Bowditch didn't think it was important that he spoke that peculiar language. As for the captain, it is a major discovery. This man was like a chest buried deep under water that held more gold than anyone could imagine, in my opinion. And the Nat Bowditch found a new way to see the lunars, a way to navigate in the seas. And yeah, Mr. Bowditch, he, he, everyone said the term book sailing, and they thought it was very dangerous and evil. And he, and he loved accuracy more than anything. He hated that Moore's books about navigation, the charts, the tables, the figures, the writings were wrong. Many, many of them. 8,000 errors in Moore's books. He was very, very angry. Sailors' lives depended on the figures. They depended on the book, but the book was wrong. And so he showed up to make a very, very an accurate book himself. 
You see, at this time, there was no airplanes, no cars, no actual means of transportation. This was just after the, um, the Americans gained, the United States gained their independence. And so, Nathaniel Bowditch would be the one who, who would save every seaman. He made a book, a book that was the most accurate ever written. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Bowditch checked on his figures three times. And I'm not just talking about three or four or ten figures, hundreds and thousands of, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of figures was what he had to triple check. And some he checked even more. And that was why his book was more accurate than anything. His book was published, and his book was something that he, anyone could depend on. He even sailed blind in the Fog. Um, you see, he, he was finally a captain of a ship, and they were coming back, but this was very, very, very hot because of the fog. They couldn't navigate. They couldn't even see the land if it was in front of them. But for, for Nathaniel Bowditch, if they could just take baby steps, Thinking about the chart, thinking where they were, like this, baby step, mm. zigzag, 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 zigzag. He knew they would eventually reach land, their home, Salam. And when they finally arrived, everyone was astonished. How did he come back with the ship when they when he couldn't see even an inch in front of him? Well, as he always says, it was a simple matter of mathematics. And no one could insult book sailing after that. It was the most accurate sailing that a sailor could go. And it is truly an interesting book to read. At first, not the adventurous, but at the end, the best nothingless. And like always, the book question and the book question. And a happy new year, as I mentioned. Adios.